Okay, let's look at the third example. This one's a little bit more complicated. Has, uh, we're going to see an example of binome uh, CDF. So this one says the probability that a heart transplant performed at the medical center is successful uh, is 0 0.7. So that's our P. Of six patients, that's our N, who have recently undergone such an operation, what is the probability that a year from now, and then these are going to give us our R's all down here. So let's define our variable. Okay, So let's let X represent the number of patients that survive. Okay, so the first one, uh, now we're looking at none of the heart recipients will be alive. So that would be R equals zero. So then we are looking at the probability that X equals zero. Now let's add in, I'm gonna add in something up here, our binomial distribution. So N and then P. Okay. So what we wanna do is we're gonna practice using our GDC. So I would use our GDC here. I'm looking for a particular value. So I would use binome PDF. Then I would enter my number of trials, my probability of success, and the number of successes that I want. So 6, 0 0.7, and then 0. So second, VARES, option A, or you can just scroll down. Oh, option 0, sorry, binomial PDF. 6, 0 0.7, and then 0 successes would give us approximately 7.29 times 10 to the minus 4. So pretty small. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now we're looking at the probability that exactly 3 will be alive. So now r is equal to 3. So we're going to repeat the same process, except our last argument is going to be 3 instead of 0. So second, there's, scroll down to binome PDF, and you're going to enter the same argument. 6, 0 0.7, and then 3. Now we get approximately 0 0.185. Next one we're going to look at the language has changed. Now we're looking at the probability that at least three will be alive. So we want the probability that X is going to be greater than or equal to three. Now this one, we could add all those up, right? We could do, I don't know how much I can fit in here. Let's see how small I can write. So I could do this. This would be the probability that X equals three plus the probability that x equals 4, plus the probability that x equals 5, plus the probability of x equals 6. Definitely doable. You would use binome PDF four times, changing the last entry each time. Or I can look at this uh, calculation using binome CDF. So the first thing that I can say is that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. We can't have a success in between 2 and 3, right? So I'm either, when I add up 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm excluding 0, 1, and 2. Okay. Now, this one... So let me circle this in a color here. Let's use red. Okay. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, I can actually calculate using the function binome CDF. So binome CDF, okay, 
the first two entries start off the same. So we've got 6, 0 0.7, and then the last number that I'm going to enter is 2. This 2 counts and adds the probabilities up to and including 2. Okay, so mathematically what it's doing is it's doing probability of x equals 0 plus the probability of x equals 1 plus the probability of x equals 2. And it's adding all of those together. So that allows us to solve the question much more efficiently. Okay, so you can put that into your graphing calculator all in one step. And you should get oops, approximately 0 0.930. So again, you're using binome CDF because you're counting up to and including. Binome CDF only works with less than or equal to. Um, so you just have to be conscious of that when you're doing the entries. The last one, we're looking for the probability that all of them are going to be alive. This is another example of binome PDF. We're looking for r is equal to 6. So we've got the probability that x is equal to 6. Uh, here we can use our GDC again, binome PDF. We've got 6, 0 0.7, and then 6. Second, VARES, scroll down to binome PDF. 6, 0 0.7, and then 6. And it should give you approximately 0 0.118. So again, don't include your calculator notation in your answer. Uh, it is something extra that you do. This is enough for your final answer. Okay, if you want to write it on the side until you get used to it, that's fine. Um, but you should be able to use your um, use your graphing calculator efficiently uh, to be able to answer the questions. Okay, here are the questions from the textbook. Good luck. Oh, you've got to be 